Jim, that's perfect well, there. And uh, I think what we do is, I think you're paddling toward the trees. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Yeah. Oh. Was, too, okay, I take that back, out. Jim. From there, you're just going to paddle towards us. You can just start slowly paddling towards us. He's reeling his rod in here. Reeling his. So we've made the decision. We're not actually going to be controlling the camera. Sean is going to control everything. So this is kind of a scaled down version. We don't have an operator at the same time. Sean's going to be flying. We've kind of locked off the camera. Can Sean make adjustments? Well, OK. So Sean can make minor adjustments, but he's mostly going to be focused on just flying. Whoop. All right. OK. Okay. As they say, shit happens. Okay, so we think there might be some interference with all of the microphones or with the walkie-talkies. So something happened with the ra from a radio perspective. And the, the good news is, even though the helicopter just malfunctioned, it didn't malfunction over the water, which is huge, right? So we probably just caused some damage to the helicopter. But the good news is it didn't just fall into the lake with the camera on it. So, and this is the reality. Like this, It's tough to see that happen. But the reality is it's so much better that that happened on the ground than happened over the water. And we still have options. We wanted a shot that's looking straight down as he, as he comes through frame. We're going to do it with a jib now. He's just going to come over to the dock. Um, so we'll switch that up. We can, we can also find a higher angle if we were still looking for that shot. It doesn't have to be a heli. So there's still always options. Right. 